Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is What's on the Tape, Season 11, Volume 6. Um, this week we're going to have a quick, quite short one, because it's about 4 billion degrees outside and I can't sit indoors too long. So it's a relatively short one. This is an easy one, though. This is an overcopied, obviously, copy of Horace Goes Skiing, and also, um, it's on a, what's this, premium grade AGFA Eris Computer... Stroke audio cassette. So we've got Horoscope Skiing, and on the other side, we've got a classic from, from, from Ultimate Play the Game, which is Trans Am. And also... I think it's just the instructions to them, actually. Yeah, it's Trans Am's instructions, and Trans Am's cover, which is a classic. I love that one. They were made some really good arcade games back in the day, actually, didn't they? They really did. Ultimate um, sort of games were really, really good. So we got that, but I've also found... Hang on a second, because because that's just not enough in its own. That's just one set of things. But I also want to do this, because I picked up this one recently. Um, it's called Assault Course from Players Premier. Um, it's a com combat academy. Now, I picked this up, um, and Dave Birds will ask very nicely if I wouldn't mind doing a review of it. Well, as I'm doing this anyway, let's boot this up and have a little look. The only thing I was a little bit disappointed about is I didn't realise when I bought it, and I must it must have been there on there. It's actually one of them distributed ones, you know, where they copied it in store. So, um, fingers crossed it's actually on there. Um, let's hope so. I didn't notice it when I was buying it. So, anyway, but we'll give that one a try. We've got that one want to give a try to and because Marky e. Moore suggested it um, um, in, in one of the, the comments below uh, he suggested that putting wine gums and I only can find tangy ones can you believe that I went to the supermarket all I could find was Maynard's tangy ones um, putting wine gums on the spectrum made sure they loaded all the time so it's got to be worth a try because you know you know what's on the tapes like anyway without further ado we're gonna get this into a tape drive Right, the tape is in the drive, so we'll go down to my favourite, basic, and load it, it. so load it, it, here we go, and this is Horace Go Skier. Now this must be most, one of the most common ZX Spectrum games ever, because it was effectively bundled, I think it was with the, the ZX Spectrum Plus, so when they, basically they changed the keyboard slightly, they designed the keyboard, and then that obviously became, turned into the toast track rate later, where they added a, a heat dissipation in this thing that they called the toast rack, because it obviously got quite warm. So, so um, Horoscope Skiing from Melbourne House, Beam Software, um, great start, it's uh, not doing its, it's doing its usual thing of not loading, um, was was kind of a was kind of everywhere. Everybody had it. It wasn't the first one I got. The first one I got was Hungry Horace. Um, again, Beam Software. Um, again, it was the same writer, wasn't it? It had that distinctive do -do 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 noise kind of when it was it was playing. You know, sort of when you loaded it up in the first place. Do you remember that sort of that kind of that wild sort of squawking noise it makes? I think if you're a Spectrum owner, you, you'll definitely know what I'm talking about. So, um, but it had that kind of wild sort of noise that went with the whole thing. So, so yeah, you, you know, it, Horace Ghost Skiing is kind of like. If there is a Spectrum game that everybody's seen, it's probably Horace is one of those. It's kind of goes along the lines of Manic Miner and Jet Set Willy, um, and uh, I want to say Chucky Egg, but I don't think it will be Chucky Egg. I think Chucky Egg's a little bit less common in that sense. This is not going to load, is it? It's going to. It's going to. We're going to have a. We're going to have a. We're going to have a hell of a time here. I can tell. I can tell. It's going to be one of them. One of them days. We're not going to be able to get. Um, this one to load. Without a doubt, though, I am sure I can find a blooming copy of this on Play ZX. It's not going to be an issue finding a copy of it. Without a doubt, it's going to be there. Come on, give it a go. Give it a go before we have to go to Play ZX. Don't really want to. I'd like to go from the tape. But that's what it is. It's what's on the tape, and it quite often goes wrong. So, um, but Melbourne House is also responsible for one of my 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 favourite games. One of the games I actually collect for multiple different. Um, uh, it's not gonna. It's not gonna work. It is not gonna work. Let's go. Let's go with. Let's go with the. Uh, oh, there's different two different versions. Why is it two different versions? There's a misprinted inlay version. I didn't even know that. It's fine. Let's go. Let's let's. 
let's let's go with Horace on 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 the on the plays of X. Let's just get that straight on there. We'll go we'll go for that. It's far too hot to be sitting inside. I'm so so it's so warm. It's so warm. I don't know if it's warm by you, but it's really really warm by me. I can't, I I've, I have to I have to admit I'm kind of I'm even even I'm I'm even I'm even a little bit uh, I'm even a little bit. Um, coffeeed out i've actually got i've actually got vimto um and somebody put me off vimto recently and i'm, I'm going to tell you some some bit uh, some useless facts about vimto but anyway one of which was that of course vimto when you rearrange letters spells vomit and it put me off a little bit off vimto at that point because vimto isn't obviously vomit it's very nice it's a nice fruity drink um but it's very it's it's very in dry states in the middle east it is seen as a celebratory drink because it's very fruity and it's got a nice flavour and whatever else it is. It's actually seen as a very, very, very sort of, uh, in, in, you know, way with dry states where they don't drink alcohol. Um, Vimto is the gene drink of choice, apparently. They, they, um, the company that makes it, I don't know who makes it, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, the company that makes it, they basically, they sell, they sell gallons of the stuff after certain um, religious festivals and, and sort of um, fasting and various other things. They sell gallons of the blooming stuff. Can you imagine that? Vimto is like that, that, that the, the, the go-to drink for people who don't drink. Well, don't drink alcohol anyway, so some will not drink whatever else is. I quite like Vimto, though. I do think Vimto's nice. You can have it hot or cold, of course. Um, nice. Right, there we go. That's a use, useless fact for the day. Um, but yeah, I'm, 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 on, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm on a cold drink because it's so, so, so warm. And I'm, I'm sat indoors and I'm, I'm, I'm working my way through what's on the tip. That's why I selected quite a short tape this week. Um, that and the assault course. And we've got the wine gums. By the way, the wine gums completely failed us here. I think it's because I got tangy ones. I think I was in trouble at the moment. The moment I started using tangy wine gums, I can't believe I couldn't find wine gums. The world shortage of wine gums. I don't, I don't know. Maynards, the, the um, you know. Maybe they need to supply me with them for my Spectrum tapes. We'll, do, we'll go with that. That and the uh, Dow Agbut sponsorship that we're working on with the coffee. Um, and maybe Vimto for the summer months. You know, that might be quite nice. Quite quite, quite like that, sponsored by. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to drink I'm gonna drink some of Vimto. Hang on. That noise. That's the noise I was talking about before. You know what I was saying? It makes that... Noise. That's the noise that it makes. Anyway... I even remember the keys here. It's Q Z um, I P. Um, so 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 these are the these are the these are the these are the buttons. So this is us at the top, a little Horace. Um, the most dangerous thing in the world, of course, is crossing the blooming road to get your skis in the first place. But 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 to be fair, I don't blame him for wanting a pair of skis. So we hire our skis, and then we make our way back across the road, and then we ski down the slope. Sixteen k game, pretty iconic, realistically, in the spectrum the, the spectrum world. We all we all know it. I uh, want to go through those. We lose points for not going through the blooming gates. Bad Horace, don't crash into the ski. Don't don't crash into those. I just thought it's more difficult than it should be. This particular part. It's funny because one of my other favourite games is a game called um, Rider, um, which is a which is a. Uh, no, not particularly uh, fancy game, but but I just quite quite like it. I've told my features on my channel. Um, anyway, in, in Rider, you kind of have to go through gates to, to, to do various things as well for your sort of score. Um, a bit like Horace Go Skiing here. Um, and I, I quite like that. And I just, but I just find Horace Go Skiing quite... Do you know what it is? It's quite fast. We should just we should just go with the flow here and, and just let them... No, don't try and catch up with it because you're just losing loads of points. Horace, Horace! Turn direction, Horace! Down to zero. In a wanna. That's it, Horace. We, just, just... Okay. Okay, that's it. And uh, we got 300 bonus points to go through there. Literally lost all the points we made in a single se session. So then we go back to the ski hut again. Um, you only get to use cash to buy their lives, basically. Cash. And it's in dollars. And I speculated once amongst things that it's like, I wonder if there was a, wasn't a pound sign on the, on the spectrum. It wasn't that. It's because it's Melbourne House and they have dollars, don't they, in Australia? What an idiot. The, the, the things that come out of my mouth sometimes, I just don't think. So, so basically... Oh, God, skis are still okay. How, what, how do you make points on this? Is it just by trundling down the slope you make points? It's not, it's just, these are just extra, these, these... 
Excuse to look here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm. I don't know why I quite wildly do that, but anyway. There's little bumps in the ground. Just push you off in a slightly the wrong angle. Oh, bad luck, the broken. Right, okay. So now we have to go get some more skis sorted in the in the shop. So we have to take that, take our life into our own hands in the in the Frogger style road crossing thing. There we go. We now have skis. I'm gonna look out for the software ones. Doodle -doo 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 -doo. Ambulance. Deadly ambulance. I didn't like this one as much though, but I guess it's probably because my first one was Hungry Horace. I always liked the that sort of um, cheap Pac-Man full clone. I, I always quite liked it. I just thought it was a bit weird though that Horace would spend his entire time running around parks eating, eating, uh, um, <laughs> eating, eat, eating flowers. I mean, well, why not? But 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 still. Well, no, yeah, why? Why would you? I mean, just, just eating dandelions or something like that. Who's eating weeds? I don't suppose the park keepers would care, would they, if he was eating weeds? He's obviously not eating the weeds. He's obviously eating... He's obviously eating... He's obviously eating the roses or something like that. Well, we don't know what Horace is, really. I mean, I don't think he's... I don't think he's... He's, does, he's not quite human, is he, Mr... 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 Mr. Horace. I think this has been re-released, actually, on Steam. Um, I think that's the... One of those things. It does look like he's wearing goggles though when he goes downhill. Look, when you get him straight, look, goggles. Looks like goggles. I know there is eyes, but a little bit goggly. I'm listening out the window, um, and I can hear it there. So we've got a seagull that's nested um, on the roof's opposite, and uh, uh, it's it's kind of sat on the on the on the, on the edge perch because it's got it's got this little. Um, you know, I, I, I say little. It's almost as big as my dog. This, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, this uh, baby fledgling type thing that's going on. Um, and it's not too far from my house. There's a couple of houses down. Um, and every time it sees me, it dive bombs me. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's quite aggressive. It, 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 oh, got killed by an ambulance. It's a good job I got hit by an ambulance because it saved me from being hit by an ambulance. Um, but yeah, so every time it sees me, it, it dive bombs me in, in, uh, in, in a most, most sort of aggressive fashion. Um, we've now come to this conclusion that that uh, he can come and have a go if he thinks he's hard enough. I mean, it's quite funny, really. Um, but but yeah, he's 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 he's, he's been dive bombing. He or she's been dive bombing me for ages to try and get rid of me, try and keep get me stop me stop me coming outside and eating the chick. Which I'm not going to eat the chick. Obviously, I'm not that. I'm not that. I'm not that unfair. Sorry, no money, no ski. That's the that's the always the way that it ends with with a Horace thing. So let's flip this tape over. They're not very good. These I don't think these say um, AGF ones. They're not very. They're not very good at all. Do they still make them? Do they still make them? I don't know. William Tang, 1982. It's a proper early game. This is a very early Spectrum game. It's actually very well programmed for the time, though. Very well programmed at all. Because if you also notice, that it doesn't do color clash either. Because when Horace goes over to the ski hut over the other side of the road, assuming he makes it, he's got a little square box around him to protect. Pretend. What? Well, look. No color clash. Somebody's a clever boy. My friend William there is a very clever man. Right, I'm going to rewind this. There could have been something after that, actually. I never even checked, but we'll, but I don't think so. Not from the nature of it. Not from the ones we did last week, which is the, probably the same person's collection. Um, uh, Daryl, uh, who, who watches the channel, thank you, Daryl. Um, Daryl has sent me some, some links on eBay to a few uh, cheap... Uh, bundles so so hopefully I'll, I'll i may win a couple of those that'll be quite nice a couple of sort of uh you know c15s mixtures of um weird and wonderful and i've got i've got to, i've got to mention uh, mel the bell um he he looked at the the games the other day and we wondered whether or not that uh winter soft football game was unique it was one that hadn't been done and not been preserved before um, and after a lot of a lot of investigation on his behalf he actually discovered it did exist it's in the, it was in the uh, the, the last week's uh, episode if you want to have a little look yourself um, and he did discover that this actually did exist it was a game that had, had appeared in the past um, and had been sort of preserved thankfully um, but because we almost thought that it was it would, I would actually find something that would need to be preserved but it's gonna happen at some point at some point we're gonna find something that hasn't been there before i'm absolutely convinced of it we're gonna we're gonna get i don't know we're gonna get we're gonna get we're gonna get some of matthew smith's early manic minor um prototypes or or uh, or jeff minter's uh, um you know barrel of specky games that he never finished creating or something similar something like that something like that's going to happen somewhere along the line we're going to get 
something that's that's rare and wonderful. But um, yeah, thanks, Mel. He had a, he had, a, he had a good he had a good look, and he really he, you know he, he scoured the land far, far and wide. And now, seeing the cover of it, I need a copy of it because it's got it's got quite a. It's got a quite a 70s style sort of, you know, those 70s style um, soccer players and look of it. I quite like the look of that one, I have to admit. I have to, it does look like a good one, but I bet it's really uncommon, that one. Um, that's the first time we've seen it on Water on the Tape. It's unlike this. I mean, Trans Am, although we'll, we'll, we'll you know, go for a sort of three to five pounds um, at the moment anyway um, it's still quite a common game you can still you can still pick up copies of Trans Am there's plenty of them sold it's just a classic it's a really good one and I mean and that's the thing you can, you can collect all the classics but it's the ones that um, nobody wanted that you need <coughs> sorry a little cough um, just need a little bit of need a little bit of Vimto we got some Vimto in there mm. I hope you've got a beverage. I had a, I, I had a, I've been, a, I've had another long week. Been a very busy, 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 busy week, including um, a sort of two-hour drive up to to Ayrshire and a two-hour drive back down again. It was a, it was a long, long week, um, and it was, it was lovely. It was a lovely drive. Don't get me wrong. It was a beautiful drive. In fact, I, I've, 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 I've got no complaints with the, the physically with the drive itself. I just, it was just a very long um, sort of drive in the, in, in the, in the first place. So, so, but. Uh, yeah, it's been a it's it's been a long busy week and and a Friday was just one of those days. It's like I I you know finished work and I, 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 I you know opened up a beer for a change. I don't don't do that very often, but it was there was one there was one there. It's like I'm gonna open that. I'm gonna I'm gonna drink that. Okay, I'm gonna hope that the keys are uh, the usual ones, but but we'll see. Um, three to start. Okay. Yeah, that's the break. Yeah, okay. So, aim of the game is with the little car in the centre of the screen and the screen rotates around us. There, uh, there's a picture of the mileage time miles. Then there's a little map and the little flashing dot is me moving towards a towards a um, city. And the cities are where you can find um, more fuel, which is emptying on the fuel gauge that you can see there. See, I've just filled it back up again. And what we're looking for is we're looking for I think it's it uh, ten cups no nine cups I think it is you can get the night driver when you get crashed into the, by this thing while racing across America now we do it can do this at speed if we wanted let's see if there's a cup here there's a cup there's one cup um, and it's just an arcade game where you where you fly around um, not crashing into things avoiding the other cars now we can, we can go at the, the full speed of 400 miles per hour or kilometers I suspect it is actually um, 400 or 400 miles per hour and then we can also turbocharge yourselves and then we start overheating you see there's a heating thing at the bottom there that's what we start doing we still obviously start burning through more diesel and, and petrol or whatever whatever we're running on in the in the distant future where the, there's no diesel and fuel left or whatever else is so so um yeah it's 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 a proper little arcadey game. I like the I like the little touches of extraness in the sense of uh, you know some of the, the the things where you go over the speed. Um, but we we are basically looking for cups is what we're looking for and avoiding the oncoming cars. There's like a little dot thing in the middle of, on the white or square block with the white dot. That's that's us. And then around us is incoming things. I'm hoping this is another damn. Game over. <clears throat> Still did nearly 4,000 miles. Let's have another go. I quite like Trans Am back in the day. I was quite I was quite a fan of this one. There we go. There we got a cup. Can't remember how many there were. I'm sure it was like you had to go with the whole nine or ten or whatever else is. Damn. Night driver, but you're driving across the whole of America, basically. If you haven't noticed, it's kind of uh, for me. It's I'm like looking backwards and forwards at the map, at the same time as I'm looking forward backwards and forwards at the 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 other thing. So so I, I find myself a little bit Albuquerque, Albuquerque. Do you remember that? What was that song? I can't remember what it was. You got me. When I was facing towards Albuquerque. It's this 90s song or 80s song, wasn't it? The Albuquerque in it. Is there another one here? There's another cup. 
We got another cup. Right, let's see if we can find another one. Tucson, test Texas. Okay, Texas, is that right? I'm in the wrong place, no. I don't know where that is, Tucson. No idea, sorry, no idea. Can't, can't work that one out. Anyway, so, should we see if there's anything else at the end of this? But yeah, it's another good game. It's another lovely little, uh, um, sort of, you know, um, classic little um, ultimate uh, 16K arcade game that works really well. 1983, beautiful game. One of those things that, uh, I think, did it get a re did it get a re-release with the Rare Collection? I'm not sure it did. I'm not sure it's one of the lucky ones. I know that uh, Ultra, uh, Underworld did. And a few others made it through with that this that one. I don't think that one made the cut. I know that um, Jetpack has had remakes, but do you know what? The, the, my, the problem with the Jetpack remakes is it's kind of like you can't really mess with the formula too much. It's Jetpack. It looks great as it is. It's a great little shoot 'em up. Um, I know there's a, a DX version which I really really want to try and see what that's like. This is gonna be something else, isn't it? That's nah, just Trans Am again. It's multiple copies of Trans Am on the same tape. We've all been here. We've all seen it before. Let's just stop that there. And let's get this. Let's get this. Let's get, let's get a salt course on. And we'll give a salt course a go. So, so I'll just press break and we'll do new. Oh, of course it won't break. They've put, a, they've put up a little block in it so that I can't break it. Right, let's get this one. So this one can use the loader. So they're assuming it's a uh, 128k game. game. Um, when I first saw one of these uh, electronically distributed games where it's uh, software distribution electronically, where they basically record the thing there and then when you're in the store. When I first saw one of these, I thought I had gold. Um, I did. I actually thought I had gold dust in, in the whole thing. Now, I know it's says 48k. I don't want 48k. I want 1 to 8k. I think I need to turn it over. Let's stop this. I will turn it over because I want, I want, I want, I want 120. And there, there you go. It's anyway. It's done it. Let's see if it's on the other side. It should be 128k. Be interesting to see if they've actually put the 128k on there. Actually, to be fair, because that's that's definitely a that's definitely a loader thing. If that makes sense, it was kind of you know you got you've got to have the tape loader for the for the 128k version of it. Anyway. Yeah, when I first saw one of these, though, I, I I thought I'd gold dust. I thought this was it. I thought I'd I thought I'd won the lottery, a spec a spectrum lottery. You know, I've got oh, I've got at least a fifty quid game here. I thought to myself when I saw it, and it was um, it was it was actually a copy of a Codemasters game, a, a certain one beginning with D and ending with Y, and and might make you slightly your head spin slightly, a bit dizzy. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, um, but I thought, I thought, oh my God, I've won the lottery. It's the, it's, 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 it's the pri And then I discovered that it, everywhere in the country got these um, electronically distributed software things. It was just me up north and a few others, I guess, who were the kind of the level where they just didn't have those machines in there. W. H. Smiths or Woolworths or whatever else it is. It just didn't, it just didn't even appear there. And so, so very weird. Very weird. Um, just, just I don't know why they didn't actually, to be honest with you. But at the same time, I'm pleased they didn't because we got original games rather than um, sort of the, the copies that are a little bit difficult there. I remember it appearing on was it on eBay? It appeared Darkman, didn't it? And there was an electronic copy of it recently. Uh, I say recently. It's probably six months ago now, maybe even a year. But but it but it appeared on eBay and 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 the price started to go a bit stupid and 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 nobody seemed to notice that uh, it was. The electronically distributed version. I, yeah, fair enough. You might be you might get lucky, and and you know the cover might be worth a few quid, but but an an inlay. Well, to be fair, it's only the inlay because to be fair, you wouldn't know what cassette case it went in in the first place, would you? So, um, there we go. 128k. That's what we're after. Um, so 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 uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't know what which one it, which one it was if that makes sense in the in the way that it came through the the the, the sort of the, the in the in the in, you know the inlay so to say um, would have been some worth a few quid. Whether or not, I don't know. I mean, it got silly. I think it went silly money, and then I think that I think the seller stopped it. I can't remember the the fall ins now. So I'm so so somebody with a hit squad knowledge of this kind of thing will will know what what happened. But but I'm sure something happened because the, you, why would you uh, why. Why would you want to pay the same money as you'd pay for a full version of the Hit Squad version of it if it was just a, effectively an electronic copy back in the day? 
I don't know. What value do you place on these things? Are they pennies to you because they're not the original thing? I, I, I'm not as overly worried about this. Wow, we look zombified there, but it's actually not the case. It's just because it's uh, the graphics are wrong, loaded obviously wrongly. It's like the green version. It's like it's like the the Stubbs the Zombie um, Xbox game version of it. Yeah, that's not going to load very well, is it? Do we let it go? Yeah, we'll let it go for the moment. We'll give, we'll give it another try in a second. Anyway, or I'll try and find it on Play Zombie. Mm. It's refreshing, but it's not quite as good as coffee, you know. The, the old Vimto, it's uh, it's uh, it's, uh, no, it's not it's not quite so refreshing. Um, right. I don't know. I don't know what value you put on it. I mean, am I bothered that this is that when I've got the case that looks nice and looks nice on the shelf? Probably not. Um, if I'm honest, a little bit disappointed it wasn't the uh, the, the 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 original cassette in there. Um, But other than that, not really too bothered. If that makes sense. I don't. Yeah, I'm not that bothered. Um, I've got the. I've got it on the Play ZX actually, so we might just bung that on in a second. And considering it's not loading from there properly, we'll get Play ZX on and we'll we'll do that. We've got side two of there, so so we should should be the 128k version. We'll give that a blast. It's interesting. They recorded two different sides to it, though. That's kind of kind of weird. I'm half interested to see whether it loads at this point, though. Now that, now that we've we've started down this road of actually re, um, playing this whole thing, yeah, electronic distribution, EDS, I think it's called, electronic software distributed, electronically distributed software. I think it's the official title for it. I mean, have you got many? I, I don't think I've ever seen one for a player's premier game before. I don't, definitely haven't seen that before. I've seen them for Codemasters games before, um, and I think that's the only ones I've actually seen it for. So, so I'm guessing it must have been the hit squads as well. I guess it could have been anything really, couldn't it? Whatever they were selling at the time, I just need to give them the the thing to record it there and then on site. Don't know. Very odd. My brain's thinking overtime about it. To be honest with you, do I do mind? No, I don't mind. Um, would I have preferred the original cassette? Yes, I would have done. But at the same time, I, I like the case. I like the cover. Am I bothered? That bothered? No, probably not. Just a little bit. A little bit disappointed rather than bothered, if that makes sense. I don't know whether to stop or start this now. I mean, I'm, we're down the road here. Do we just want to see it crash? Or do we want to do whatever else it is? We, we, are we happy with zombified um, man climbing over there? Possibly not. <laughs> It's probably zombified. We've zombified him. It is warm though. Probably sweating now. Sitting for a while, sweating. Actually, I should I should have put my watch on the charge. I've got one of these watches that you know they use for conductive um, um, conduction, isn't it? I can't remember what it's called. You know, I use magnet magnetism basically to do it. So 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 I've got a watch that smartwatch does that. Um, and you just I could prop it on there occasionally because I kind of oh, my lord. If it does load, I'll be utterly amazed. I don't think I've ever seen one where they've had a crash screen and it has loaded properly. Was there a lot of players premier game? I don't. I, players always struck me as one of, a, a, a late to the party kind of company. I don't remember seeing one of their earlier games, but you've got to remember again up in the north here. Well, it loaded. Nineteen ninety. A whole eight years after Spectrum was developed. Keys. Oh, right. Left, right. Uh, space. G, pause. One for keyboard. It's tap left and right. Oh, yeah. Here we go. It's a joystick waggling destroying machine. Oh, knocked myself out on the wall. I've got. A, I think I've got a, a gorgeous moustache. I've got like it's like Mario escaped and he's he's there. Oh bums! How do I climb that? I've obviously got to jump up the wall at a certain point. There we go. Oh god! I'm not going to destroy my keyboard with this. Oh, got some speed on now, though. Oh, there's a swamp. I didn't jump the swamp. My God, this is stupid. Swamp. Oh, got to hold the button down, do I? 
Right, go get the speed up. Oh no, go hit the... Oh, blimey neck. I wish you'd put a joystick in. It's a joystick breaker. Breaker, that's for certain. There we go. Okay, look for another swamp. Look for swamp. Look for swamp. Look for swamp. Look for swamp. We'll get up there. Oh, look, we're up. Hand over. Hand over. Hand over. Go on, Mario. We can do it. Luigi! <laughs> well, we're over the swamp. There's a swamp. Don't no, be a wall. There we go. We're on. Oh, hang on. Run across the 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 the. the oh, we got to keep the speed. What what? Hang on. We got to take consistent speed. This is interesting. This is a little bit slower. Not too fast. And we're okay. Right. Okay. What's this? What the hell's that? Oh, we're under it. Oh, sorry, I didn't see myself die. I thought I fell over again. We're climbing under it. We're, we're, we're salt coursing this. I can't believe it loaded. Ah, oh, no, I fell in the swamp. My fingers are sore already. There we go, we made it. Swung across the, the swamp. I, I can't believe I've chosen an exhausting game for this. There we go. Go on, Mario. Mario! He hasn't got a moustache in the pictures, though, with the little ones down the bottom. I think he's, I think he's an imposter. I'm, my fingers are sore. There we go. Oh, my fingers are sore. Oh, my fingers are proper sore now. Please finish. Oh, my God, I failed. Restart course. No! No, don't make me restart the course. There's a little bit of music there, I think. Oh, God. Fingers are sore. You didn't jump. I pushed the button. Come on. These are the days of, uh, of Daily Thompson's Decathlon. Do you remember that? Oh, my God. They were joystick destroyers. This is a keyboard destroyer. Mario! Where do I have to jump for this? Come on. This is the same blooming war that got me last time round. Yeah, the... Mm. <sighs> Need a joystick for this one, for certain. Oh, God. You just you jump at the wrong place and you've had it. I love the way it lets you finish this salt course, which is really rough, even though you already know you failed. So, like, I already know I failed there. Because there's no way I've, I've, I've got any more, you know, I'm, I'm, there's no way I've, I can speed this up in any way, shape, or form. I've got to do it 1 minute 50. I, I can't believe I managed to touch the tip of that, of, of my foot on there and fall off. There you go, I've done it again. Oh, my God. I'm getting tired, that's what it is. Fingers are sore. No, you have to do left and right, left and right, left and right. I was trying to try to cheat. Uh, see if it was cheatable. No, it's not cheatable. Oh, and you have to keep the speed up. One of those where you have to keep the speed up. Otherwise you fall off. Oh my goodness, I'm tapping the keys and I'm hitting it. I fell in the bloody swamp again. Fingers are sore! Come on! Keyboard! Can't go too fast over this one. This one's a, this one's a, 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 is difficult because you have to keep the speed sort of level. Crawl under here. Time is completely out. I'm going to have to restart the course again. I don't want to restart the course.
Hey, managed to do that jump okay at least. I can't do the walls. This is the last wall as well, I know it is. It's like watching Richard Gere and that officer and gentleman again, completing the final obstacle course with a moustache. You remember that? No. It's gone back to the 80s? 80s and 90s? Can't remember. Yeah, I'm just running into the wall. Come on! Even worse than the first time I did it. Oh, I can't get the angle. I could plumbing. It just seems to take off and not really can. It floats through the air. Oh, I can't even get the angle right here. This is just ridiculous. Come on, Mario. Come on. I don't think it's the right look. I don't even know how that's right, because that's like where I was before. Here we go, it's finish line shortly. <laughs> Can't even get the finish line. Why are we running around on a pre prehistoric um, sort of desert type thing, I guess? Is that what it is? Prehistoric desert-y thing? Here we go. There we are. Another go at it again. Restart course. Oh, I don't want to restart the course. Right, I'm now restarting the course. I've had enough. My hands are sore. I'm literally got a sore hand. What a wimp I am. Doing doing three minutes worth of um, repetitive strain injury inducing uh, uh, thing. I've never noticed the go before though. Come on, let's oh, go on. What? One more go. Go on, Mario. Oh my God, I made it over. Oh, can't believe I hit that. You can't... Do you know, it's very unforgiving. You're very unforgiving. I was... I was... I was... I was in a... It was in... I was... I was in the flow there, and then we've... We've, we've done that. Oh, God, I fell in the water. You see, this is the thing. Uh, you, you one minute and whatever else it is, is really tough. If you things like that happen, you just can't get forward. Now, definitely had it. Right, I've had it anyway. Um, <laughs> anyway, I've been, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demons. Thank you for watching a short one this week. Um, next week, hopefully a bit longer. Pray for rain, and then I'll stay indoors. Anyway, um, <laughs> please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next week. Bye-bye now.